shit now, okay? Milf Manor episode three. I've been excited for this. I get to watch Milf Manor in like short bursts through Cody Co. Because I can't watch uh, Milf Manor on stream, which is devastating. But at least I can... At least I can watch it through uh, Cody Co. And then you guys watch it through me, watching it through Cody Co. You already know what it is, right? That's what we're doing. That's what we're here for. So let's take a look. Welcome back to MILFs R Us. I've done two videos about this show now, and this is the third one. Yeah, pumped to get into this. Really excited. <laughs> this show has been awesome so far. It's so fun to watch and really cool. And He's so wrong. It is awesome. Socialism is when no fridge. Thank you for the five gifted sub. Easy. And it's like an easy watch, you know? It's like sit down and just kind of, oh, that's an easy watch. Well, let's watch this. This isn't, this doesn't make me want to tear my eyes out. So the last episode ended with some good old fashioned, you know, cultural ignorance uh, with Disco Mommy telling two of the other ladies that they shouldn't speak in their native language because it's rude. Oh, yeah, have it. It's rude. It's my first language, our first language. Yeah. But you're not, you're not here to speak. Dude, it's awesome. The MILFs are getting racist, and I'm here for it, okay? The MILFs are racist, and I love it, dude. It's like a merger of concepts that I'm already super on board with. MILFs, weird sexual undertones, and now racism. Speak your first language. Okay, we're talking together. We're talking together. But it's rude. But, you know, it's a new day. I'm sure the, the booze was flowing last night, so hopefully, you know, she, Disco Mommy's had a chance to kind of reflect on that and realize that she was definitely in the wrong. Hello? I'm sorry, should I tell you in Spanish to shut the f up? <laughs> Ooh, no, Spanish. she isn't. Callate. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, she just does, does not give a fuck, does she? She doesn't give a fuck. Oh, look at that, right there on the hoodie. No fucks given. <laughs> there it is, I told you. I told you she doesn't give a fuck. Hey man, that's just who she is, you know? She's unfiltered. She's just unfiltered like that. She They're says actually it's on Mexico? her mind. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, it doesn't matter. Mexico also, uh, Mexico, uh, sorry, also an American state, I'm pretty sure. Uh, what? Uh, duh, Mexico. Uh, yeah, I know we have the newer version, but like, it's still America. You know, she, she gives zero Fs, you know, um, donde F to give? <laughs> no puedo. <laughs> I'm definitely going to apologize and bury the hatchet so we can move on. Oh, okay. That's a little bit of progress, at least, you know? What if she was like, listen, guys, I just want to say I am sorry, okay? But notice I'm not saying lo siento. I'm saying I'm sorry in English. <laughs> No, but anyway, she apologizes, you know, whatever, and then it's kind of agua under the bridge, you know? Just like I'm sure the thing with So Young sleeping with her son's best friend. You know, I'm sure that's kind of... Ecat, thank you for 21 gifted subs. Blown over by this time as well. I'm angry. I don't know how to even look at you and talk to you in a sensible manner where I can be your son. Right now, I feel like you didn't treat me like your son. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess that makes sense. Probably gonna take a little bit longer to repair that damage. Years, probably. You know, potentially a decade. By the way, it seems like a lot of people in the last video thought that, that that whole thing was fake, but I mean, if it is fake, these people are incredible actors. Cause I believed every second of that right there. There was a lot of emotion. I mean, fucking, if that's fake, give them a fucking Emmy. The worst part about that whole thing is that they didn't even- The Turkinator X, thank you for the tank of the subs. Win the challenge. The secret challenge, they didn't win, somehow. These are the people that won, right here. Including Joey, oh yeah, let's go. Okay, I know we're about to see some grade A. Here is, here, here is, you know what I mean? So those are the people that won the dates and I'm just like really not looking forward to seeing this play out, to be honest. But actually it turns out that the dates went really smooth and you know, it wasn't uncomfortable. What is happening? Shark Fist, thank you for the tank of the subs. Queen Chaos, thank you for the five of the subs. I feel like people are finally celebrating that we have like, uh, you know, some lighthearted content here. Like people are really, a lot of MILF, MILF Manor celebrators, a lot of MILF Manor enjoyers in the chat gifting like crazy. Maybe because it's the top of the hour though. And they're like, hey, we're going to fucking give subs ahead of time so that a whole bunch of people will no longer see the ads at the top of the hour. When there's a three-minute ad break, especially while we're watching 
motherfucking MILF Manor. Socialism with no fridge. Thank you for the one gifted sub. Can you feel it now, Mr. Krabs? Thank you for the five gifted subs. Here is the uh, three-minute ad break now. Hey! That's what you get for asking my mom on a day. <laughs> Joey's a little sly guy. Dude, his fits are atrocious, dude. His fits are like a time capsule of like not even an era, but just like one week where people thought that this was fire. I know people are going to say says you and shit, but like it's so, it's so specific and so wild. Papa John Shatner, Clutch and Avi, thank you for the five, get the subs. Now he's trying to hit on my mom. And it's not sitting right with me. It's not sitting pretty. Is that not the entire point of the show that you willingly came on? Isn't it? Isn't it not? Oh, that fucking sly guy over there think he thinks you're gonna raise up my mom, huh? Fucking sly guy. What do you think? Right in front of me? Think you could just hit on my mom right in front of me? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, I mean, that's, you know, we got, like, cast for this and everything, and, like, you know, went through multiple, this was, this was like, the, it was understood that that's what would be happening. Oh, uh, yeah, fucking wise guy, huh? Oh, he's a little wise guy over here. This guy's gonna fuck my mom. <laughs> yeah, right, you're gonna fuck my mom. <laughs> this guy, you could just try, try to fuck my mom, please. No, please, try, go ahead. Try to fuck my mom. What do you like about me? Your vibe, it's so... You know, I think it's it's the energy. I love your eyes. First of all, fucking awesome question to ask. Damn, she's like, bro, what the fuck? You have like life experience. Why are, do you sound like a like a twenty year old bimbo? That's kind of wild. Like that I, that was shocking to me. I, I was expecting more from her. For, she's just like, I just I don't know. It's like your vibes. I think uh, weird. Uh, e cat, thank you for the twenty gifted subs. I love your eyes. First of all, fucking awesome question to ask. What do you like about me? Always a great question to ask on a date. Second of all, I'm surprised she wasn't like, yeah, I just love your vibe. Maybe it's the fact that you're smoking a cigarette at the dinner table. <laughs> That's fucking hot. Ladies love that shit, man. Like when they're eating, but you're ripping cigs. At the table and guards, dude, the smoke ripping guards. At her. Ladies love that shit. I make music. I'm an artist. I do modeling as well. I travel a lot. So, I'd say my ideal girl needs to be kind of well-rounded, intelligent, really just happy, positive person. <laughs> I love that. First of all, he just maybe said those things to, like brag about himself a little bit because they had like just nothing to do with the type of girl that he was looking for. After shut up, Cody. You don't get it. He was. He was describing what what he brings to the table that's important. It's important for what type of girl he's looking for. He has so much that he's bringing to the table. What are you bringing to the table, okay? Nothing. Exactly. Fucking get owned, dude. It's like, yeah, I make music. never be able to bag a MILF like he can. He's got Riz, dude. He's got fire coming out of his pants. You see that? You see that? The fire coming out of his pants? Really just happy, positive person. <laughs> I love that. Thank First of all, he just maybe said those phobia. things like brag about himself a little bit because they had like just nothing to do with the type of girl that he was looking for afterwards. Like, yeah, I make music. Yeah. Happy, Where's positive the pants? person. I'd say my. Yeah, look at that. Fire coming out of his pants, dude. But you got none. But you got no pants that have fire coming out of it. Zero. I love that. First of all, he just maybe said those things to, like brag about himself a little bit because they had like just nothing to do with the type of girl that he was looking for afterwards. Like, yeah, I make music. You know, I'm an Thank artist. Thank you, moms, for uh, Hassan. I'm really involved for the five in modeling years. and I'm an artist and uh, I usually make music as I am an artist. And, you know, I just need a girl with like a pretty sick rack on her, you know? Because of the fact that I travel a lot, I need a girl with good boobs. Bray Mia, thank you for the 10. Yes. Salute. Salute. I've never dated anyone like Gabriel. He's stylish. He's spontaneous. He's very funny, outgoing. He just says it how it is. He blows cigarette smoke into my mouth as I'm trying to eat dinner. Nothing compliments fajitas like burning tar in my mouth. And then there's Joey over here just like, you know, risen up this guy's mom, right? And he's not having any of it. They're eating like deep fried crickets, I think. And he starts like throwing them over at Joey as Joey's laying down some sick game with this woman who's 59 years old. 
59. He's 20. She's triple his age. Triple his age. No. No. And as that whole thing's happening, Brian takes Paolo to the street to talk with her privately. And I can't decide if there's like the super scripted like rom-com kiss we got last episode was better or worse than this one. We need four kiss. No. Four eight. Yeah. The whole, give me a kiss. No, no forehead. I didn't mean to lips. Yeah, it's like weird because, you know, it's like kind of how you would kiss your mom. Yeah, no, that's like, is, is that your mom? Are you kissing your own mom? Are you, why are you going for the forehead kiss there? I meant forehead. Give me forehead. Oh, forehead. Yeah. yeah. For sure. <laughs> that kind of made my skin crawl. Out of everyone on the show, that dude, I think, is, and his mom, I think, are the most, like, well adjusted, it seems. But he's also 30. So I feel like he is in the best position to actually, like, date these women because he's, like, closer in age. Like, he's the only one that, like, actually, you can tell, like, he actually, like, relates to a lot of stuff that they're saying. I feel like he's like, he's the only one that's genuinely ready to maybe be a stepdad. You know what I'm saying? Like imagine Joey trying to parent, you know? <laughs> Which is funny because it goes against the whole point of the show, you know? Like he obviously gets along best with all the women because he's like, because he's not like a... Okay, first of all, you can't... What do you mean 30 like you, Hassan? Cody is literally older than me. Shut the fuck up. Current frat boy, you know? Overall, though, this episode so far is like a lot of, you know, like the dust has settled from the initial shock of, holy shit, this show is insane, go to jail, that feeling. And now it's just super, it's just generally super awkward. Like the, the, they're like forcing people to have relationships and nothing's working, obviously, because it's just uncomfortable and weird. That makes it better, I think. So Wait, what? That makes it better. It's like weirder and grosser if they're just like risen each other up and fucking, dude. Like, no, that's kind of the point. I'm, I would go so far as to say that that's more ethical, a, a direction for this show to go in. It's a, it's a more ethical direction for the show than they're just like rizzing each other up so fucking hard and they're just like, you know, fucking and sucking. So I've been told. I'm a very good kisser, but I need someone to tell me if that is true. <laughs> Damn, bro, what? Dude, he's doing like, this is like high school shit, dude. I feel like I said this when I was in high school, dog. That's crazy. That is, dude, you're talking to a cougar, okay? She literally will snap your dick in half. Do you understand? Like, you don't have to do, like, weird, silly games. You just be like, yo, you, you trying to get this dick or not? And she will very clearly communicate to you. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Would you like to test oh, she's it out? Laugh she's laughing at him because it's a silly thing to say. It's a childish thing to say. Out. I mean, right now? Yes. Can you give me a minute? Okay. That was his opening line. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. That literally, like, she is the most horny character on the cast. Okay? You can't go on MILF Island with the assumption that you're going to play games. Okay? The only game you should be playing is, like, I need to hide my penis game because it's been snapped in half by one of the one of the, the uh, you know, the Rizosaurus Rexes out there, okay? And you're not playing that game. You're not going to need to play that game because it seems like, it seems like you you think that you could just, like, be like, hey, hey, like, I've told <laughs> that, like, I kiss really good, but, like, I need to test it. You know what I mean? <laughs> On this date. That's what he started with. He started there. And even Disco Mommy is like, whoa, dude. Her! Her, she, even she's like, whoa, yo, slow down. You have food in your mouth. Now you're gonna no. I I don't even think I think Cody's wrong. I, as as the as the uh you know fucker of everyone's moms in the chat, I can tell you with a certainty. Okay, as someone who's had sex with a lot of your moms, I'm gonna keep her buck fifty here. 
straight up, straight the fuck up, okay? She's just, he could have, he should have been more direct. You're going to kiss me too. Billy's cute and his dry sense of humor is, is funny, but um, his game is super weak. Yeah. Hold that thought. <laughs> ah, ah, it's not fun anymore. I mean, was it ever? But it definitely isn't now. I feel like you gotta go back to the drawing board if Disco Mommy says your game is weak. Like, I feel like for what we've seen so far- Your game for Disco Mommy is just breathing, okay? Like, if you're breathing, you are an eligible bachelor for Disco Mommy, okay? So you're basically, you're already working. It's, it's the fourth quarter, and you're up by 50, okay? This is your game to lose, my friend. And, oh, my God, dude. I don't know what the fuck you just did, but you did the unthinkable. You have negative game. You understand? You have negative game. You fucked it up. You could have just, like, literally stood there, not said anything, and it would have been better for you. Far in this show, her standards are, like, don't speak Spanish, and you're good, you know? You know, it just seems like she's, like, it, you know, just finds a lot of things attractive. You know what I mean? But <laughs> yeah, at this point, it kind of seems like this guy kind of, you know, Spanish kind of fucked that good. up. You can't, like, you get food in your mouth. You can't go to kiss somebody. I mean, it, he kind of derailed the whole thing. I don't think he's got a shot. I mean, what could he really say? to give himself another shot, you know? Who can't be trusted? They don't really have the right size condoms for me here. Fuck yeah, another insane line. I mean, there's just no way that that's gonna work, right? I wasn't expecting this at all. I think it's hot when a guy is so confident about his size of his penis. Like, maybe he has this uh, crazy wild side that even uh, Stephanie doesn't know about. Billy's. Bro, he did the Danny DeVito. He did the Frank, dude. He did the Frank. And by the way, I was right. I told you. He just needed to be direct and be like, I have a big penis. Would you like to suck one? And that's it. Like, <laughs> he just did the Magnum Dong thing, which is, you know, here, for those of you who don't know. Whoa, whoops. Oh. I dropped my monster condom that I used for my magnum dong. Yeah, and it fucking worked, okay? It worked. It was, it was perfect because you need to be direct. For Disco Mommy, you just need to say, like, I have a big penis. Definitely becoming... Why is she trying to act like there's anything more to this? She's like, ah, she's like, oh, he's so spiritual. He's so spiritual. There's a lot of mysterious sides to him that I did not know. It's like, no, you just, he said he has a big penis. Why are you trying to make it seem like there's anything more to it? You're just, you're horned up. That's going to work, right? I wasn't expecting this at all. I think it's hot when a guy is so confident about his size of his penis. Like maybe he has this uh, crazy wild side that. Yeah, maybe he has a crazy wild side. That his mom doesn't even know? Why would his mom know about his monster penis? Even uh, Stephanie doesn't know about. Yeah, like, why would his mom know about his, like, fucking crazy, his magnum dong? And also, the, the... Billy's definitely becoming one of my favorites at this point. Okay, I was wrong. It, that, that worked. Yeah, that killed. That fucking killed. Wow. Well, I guess that's the way to disco mommy's heart, you know? Big, small, just, you know, be confident in what you're rocking, you know? She didn't say confident in a big dick. She just said confident in his, with the size of his penis, you know? That could have been what he meant, actually. Just like, oh, they don't have the right size condoms for me in here. They're, these ones are too big. <laughs> um, you know. Yep, these ones are too big and too thick, too. I am... <laughs> Mine is rail thin. Yep. He's packing a millimeter heater, dude. <laughs> I mean, in this house, you got to be careful talking about your dick size. You know what I mean? Because you wouldn't want your mom to hear something like that. That would be kind of traumatic for her to hear, probably. He said he has a big <laughs> How does it make you feel? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh, Kelly. <laughs> he said that. <laughs> Keep that. Why would you tell her that, you fucking freakazoid? Ah, yeah. Hey, 
your son said he's got a fat cock, and I'm trying to give it a little suck, you know. <laughs> it's gonna be a good one when I suck you, <laughs> when I suck your son's fat ass cock. <laughs> what a fucking freakazoid, dude! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, she's so crazy. I love this show so much. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Why did she say that? Oh, oh, I'll let you know if he's not lying about it. <laughs> <laughs> no oh god i love this show so much i wish i could watch it on fucking stream i'd lose my mind to yourself no please. dude if your son's like spilling the beans i just want to know oh, do you know god. dm disco my <laughs> she's literally like how garthy i just wanted to know how garthy is your son's cock <laughs> <laughs> She's still pushing it. She's still put maybe you were <laughs> maybe you were changing his diapers, you know? Did he have a big cack when he was a baby? <laughs> Come on. No, but like, but like, think about it. Think about it. Like, why would she know? Why should she know? The like the moment. <laughs> just pause for a moment and really think it through. You think I'm being crazy about it? But like, where? What is the situation? <laughs> like, literally, think about this, okay? For a moment, just <laughs> why? <laughs> Like, asking that question is already unhinged, okay? But then, <laughs> stop for a moment and think, like, why would the mom even expect the other mom to know? You know what I mean? <laughs> mom, she really just does not give a fuck, does she? I mean, she was trying to tell us <laughs> with the hoodie. She was trying to tell us. The writing was on the wall. She's just down to make shit uncomfortable at all times. <laughs> Crazy for saying that. She probably already knows that her son is hung. <laughs> I mean, it is her boy, so she must know, right? What the fuck? Does that imply that she knows? She knows if her son's got a fat one or not? God, Disco Mommy is so unhinged. I love her, dude. She's out of her fucking mind, dude. Doesn't she have like six children? What the fuck? She should know, right? Obviously. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Joey might have a different relationship than most mothers and sons, maybe. I don't know. I'm not a parent, I don't know, but... Okay, you know what? I feel like we're having too much fun. Let's get sad again. This secret really kind of, like, disrupted me and my mom's energy together, so it makes it very difficult to work with somebody, so you can only imagine. Okay, this is pretty funny. He's just, like... He's just going through it. <laughs> this he, did he get a haircut? Like, what's going on? He's in his Britney era. He like shaved off the mullet. He's like, I'm an accountant now. I'm gonna go back to America and I'm gonna go back to school. I'm I'm probably not gonna have sex with women for a very long time, okay? <laughs> How awkward this is for me. No, you gotta go right. It's a four count. What they're doing is choreographing a dance routine because that's today's challenge. <laughs> Another challenge, yes. Uh, you're supposed to make and perform a dance routine with your mother, and then you win a night at a Latin dance club with, you know, one of the other moms or sons. Which <laughs> Latin dance club? Disco mommy's probably not stoked for that. You know what I mean? Wait, that's also still weird though because that that implies it like. You're going on a double date with your son and mom. Like, that's so weird, bro. Oh, God, the entire show is so disgusting. I love it. Oh. <laughs> Why are you guys dan- Oh, now you're dancing in Spanish? No, no, okay, cool. Cool, no, it's rude. It's rude. Stop with the hips. What is this? I can't understand the words to this song. It's rude. No, you gotta go right. It's a four count. 
I don't feel his heart in it because I know Jimmy. He's not putting all 100%. Well, maybe that's because you let his best friend put 100% of him in you. <laughs> You ever think of that? All the Good mothers one. and sons need to come up with a dance routine Facts. that communicates passion and desire. No, no. I mean, that sentence should not exist, you know? <laughs> like, go to jail, TLC. <laughs> Why are you playing? <laughs> True. She said, I want a dance routine that communicates passion and desire with my son. Yo. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> She's so crazy. <laughs> She's so crazy, dude. Why is she like that? But don't stop. Make her stop, but also don't make her stop. She's this is so much content. Incest thing so much. It fucking sucks ass. So yeah, for the most part, this whole segment He's like, wrong. is fucking He's horrible. wrong. So the worst part is when the, one of the dudes that's a male stripper gets up and like takes off his shirt. You know, these two moms go crazy. And then he starts <laughs> fucking the ground in the middle of the dance routine that he's doing with his mom. And again, it makes me wonder why I'm watching this horrendous show. And they win too. They won. Because of that. So he picks Stephanie to go on a date with him, and there's this great moment. Who do you think you like most in the house? It's with? crazy, because I, I really like So Young's personality yeah. a lot. Who are you the most attracted to? That would be Paula. <laughs> what? Just not her. Just great shit right there. Taking what a girl the? out on a date and then being like, yeah. Dude, what a fucking... First of all, that... I've never seen that. Okay, that's like that's like from an era where like the continents were stuck together. You know what I mean? Like my man's rocking that Neanderthal dome, you know? That's respect, okay? <laughs> that's like <laughs> he's got the brow game, dude. He's crazy. <laughs> yeah, he's missing an upgrade, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck oh jesus ladies love my fucking dome someone in the chat said he doesn't need shades he's like what is it sunny out i can't tell <laughs> life is always darkness for me who do you think you like most in the house it's with? crazy because I, I really like so young's personality yeah. a lot Who are you the most attracted to? That would be Polo. <laughs> Just not her. I don't get it. Why did he pick her then to take her out on a date? Oh, because the mom chose. I guess the mom chose. So, like, he had to go with, you know, on a double date with, like, another per the, the, the kid's mom. Is that what happened? No, he chose. Wait. Wait. He chose her? And is now shitting. Oh, he's negging. Oh. Yeah, I bet it's like edited. She probably says like aside from me or something. To make it seem like. Yeah. They do that kind of deceptive shit. It's not just at the, it's not just at Project Veritas. They do that kind of deceptive editing in reality TV as well. Just great shit right there. Taking a girl out on a date and then being like, yeah, I'm actually interested in, in everyone else except you. Just reverse, that's reverse Riz, you know? A man should have let his body do the talking, you know? Not his mouth. But, you know, it kind of seems like game generally is not really the strong point on this show because, you know, a lot of these lads, they're... They're young, so I don't, what do you really expect? Gabriel lacks respect because every time it's somebody else's turn to get to know someone, it's not your time to end French. <laughs> You're not leaving. <laughs> Hell yeah, stage five clinger game right there. But then the 30-year-old guy takes her out to go snorkeling, and she kisses him, and he's like, what do you think of Gabriel? And she's like, uh, he's just like a friend. Which is surprising, because I feel like the you're not leaving me line would have worked pretty well. You know what I mean? And as they're having that conversation, I can just picture him, you know, just back at the place, just ripping cigs and eating tacos at the same time. Just eating cigarette tacos, you know? Just fucking, just fucking cheating on me. So overall, this episode kind of was a dud, honestly. Like, the again, like I said, the initial... Yo, he literally... This is how you know he's lying, okay? And he loves it. Because 
He literally is saying it's a dud because not enough incest. Cody Ko straight up saying, uh, great episode, uh, you know, some drama there. Not enough incest, four out of ten. Like, oh, what, what? It kind of wore off, and now it's just like, uh, yeah. You know, a lot of, uh, yeah. but, <laughs> but, I did stick around to watch the scenes from the next, <laughs> and we have this to look forward to. Billy and I are turning up the heat. Sorry, Mom. Come here, Daddy. Come over here. I just don't like the fact that Kelly's like six feet away from me. Ah! Yes! Come here, Daddy. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh my God. I need more of this. I need more of this. Oh my God. And Joey like pops up from the from the other bed. What, Dad's here? <laughs> oh man, that made me feel bad to say that. <laughs> Wait, Dad's here where? <laughs> oh man. I almost want to do these, like, I want to almost do these reacts somehow, like, not live, and just, like, upload my, my, like, immediate reactions like Cody's doing. Like, I just don't have time. It's so good. It's such a good show. And, no, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm done. I think this, I think three parts is enough. <laughs> if you like this one, maybe if you want another one, you can, you know, you can tell me by hitting like, maybe. And then we'll see. All right. Bye. <laughs>